how to find the area of a regular pentagon when you're only given the length of a side. Okay, so first thing is to find the length of just one of the sides because since it's a regular pentagon, you know that all the sides are equal. Okay? Then we substitute that length into this huge general equation which works for most irregular pen, uh, polygons. Okay, so what I did is I substituted the 10 here because length of each side is 10 and the 5 is for n and n represents, at least in this equation, the number of sides. So since it's a po uh, pentagon, I put 5 there and there. So here we go, like this. Okay. Now, as you'll notice, I have 180 here. Okay, this is for degrees. Okay, if your calculator doesn't do degrees or you just don't like degrees, you can use radians. So in that case, what you would do instead of 180, you would use pi. And usually teachers let you use 3.14 for that. Okay, so let's continue on with our evaluating. Alright, so 10 squared becomes 100 times 5. And down here, I just converted the 180 over 5 into 36. Okay, then numerator becomes 500, denominator becomes 2 and 91 hundredths. And when you simplify that, you get 171 and 82 hundredths. Okay. Lastly, what we need to do is write the units. Okay. Now these units are in feet squared. Okay. Um, what I did in this problem, though, is I went ahead and I rounded it two decimal places here. The question asks for a tenth, so depending upon your teacher, he or she may get angry. He might want you to actually cut it off and do 171 eight tenths. But some teachers like it when you do go that extra mile. So make sure you know what your teacher wants so that he or she will be happy. Alright, and that completes our problem.